arrived and I'm so cold, my hand's gone purple. In line for Catherine's photo, I have to speak a bit quietly but loudly. Look at the line. You can see where she's going to be. She's not there at the moment, but we'll get there at some point. I think she's coming. Right. No, I don't think she is coming around this way. But I just saw her running past. She was right there. And she had a dog. It's pretty, very little, very little dog. But this might be the only footage I might get of her. I don't know. Only footage? Boy, was I wrong. She's coming. She's in a green, like, puffy coat. But I... She's going the other way. Uh, there we go. That little flash of green. I'll put a marker on it from this perspective but can you sort of see there she is right there that's probably the best i'm gonna get if not probably the stage and i'll try and ask her anyway to say hi to you guys i think when it came to catherine videos i got more than i asked for with catherine say do you want to say hello uh hello and welcome to zach's youtube channel yes is this gonna be a regular thing me and you zach uh I hope so. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. I don't know um, much about Doctor Who though, so I might not be much used to you. Oh, do you? But watch anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the only footage of Catherine. No, the best part about it comes later in the video. But first, let's deal with all the other stuff. I've just had my autograph of Catherine Tate and she let me have a video. She was really nice. And she's got a dog named Billy. It's pretty nice. She was very tiny as well. Um, what I want to... I would be outside right now recording this, but I'm inside because it is freezing. Um, but we're currently having like a short little break. I don't know, there's no thing to tell the time where I am, but I'm like, if you've been to Excel before, you know exactly where I am. Um, and I'm sure you have, because I think when I went on my Instagram story, someone voted that they are going here. Uh, I don't know who it was though, but who knows what I've got I've got all I know is I've got oh there is a time I've got 28 minutes until my photo with Catherine but because of this and because of my autistic spectrum disorder I get to like sort of cut in line um to be fair and then that'll almost be Catherine done I'll have an hour and a half in between to do whatever I'm gonna try and find um, Dominic G. Martin, who is the doctor in the fan films on YouTube, because I've met him before once and I had a little talk and a, and a photo, but before I even, well, well, after I had, like, after I met him, I started watching his episodes on his fan made doctor thingy, and he's really good, he's really good, and I just wanna find him probably take a video and probably talk about it he's in a 10th doctor costume we were in the line um he was on one side i was on the other because the line was split into three for catherine because this comic con is actually split in half it's not as big as it is xl but it's not as big as like half the size and so aside from dominic g martin i i mentioned that i was going to be meeting like a returning person uh, and I was going to keep it secret, and I'm pretty sure you've seen by the intro, it's Tom Scar. I've already met him, he was the, f well, no, I haven't met him, I, he was the first, out of the three people I want to meet, he was the first person I saw, and I know exactly where he is, I've seen his booth, so I'm going to go talk to him again, hopefully. I should have a lot of time, because last time it was a bit rushed, I used up all my time, and I had a lot of guests to go through. This was during the FNAF voice actor thingy. Um, but yeah, as of now, I'm just recording this on my break, inside, I can't go outside, it's freezing cold, and these are very thin. Like, if I just pull it, that's my leg. It's that thin. And I'm not too proud of this Doctor Who costume, because it, you can see it's not the official one, it's, 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 it's as close as I could get, but it still, it still at least resembles it, and I thought I'd wear it just for Catherine Tate. And there is a lot of people going in for a Comic Con that's half the size because I thought it would be the normal size. But I think that's all I can say for this like short clip and I will...
continue while I've gone through. There was also a TARDIS somewhere. I might get another picture again because I rarely see them. But I saw one the first time I went to XL and I saw one when I was at the Norwich Comic Con. Okay, that's. I guess that's all I can say for this little clip. I'm just going to wait for them to come back inside and we'll move on. Now, listen closely. During my break, I did find jo Dominic G. Martin, but I got like two videos of him. The first video, I accidentally cut it off when I was like waving my thumb ar around with my phone and I accidentally pressed the button. So while I'm, what I'm about to show you is the cut version and then the full version of me meeting Dominic G. Martin. So if you're wondering why I'm playing like the video twice, um, I'm just showing you the cut version. Because I'm not just going to have like a cut version and be wasted for no opportunity. But I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know when the cut happens. If you're a Doctor Who fan, you've been watching the Doctor Who fan film. Say hello to Dominic G. Martin. Hello. He is the current Doctor in the Doctor Who fan films. The one in the purple costume. Yes, yes. And um, uh, let me just think. Generally, I'm known as the Purple Doctor. For the them. Purple Doctor. Yeah, for so the DW2012 bad films, and um, yeah. yeah, we're up to seven episodes now. It's yeah. been really, really fun. I'm. I think I'm on the fourth one. The worst man ever, whatever it was called. Uh, the most hated man. The most the hated world. man. Yeah, I watched yeah. the first three, and the first one was. The cut happened here, and now I'm about to show you the full version of me meeting Dominic G. Martin for a video. Watch the Doctor Who fan films, you should know who I'm about to show. It's Dominic G. Martin! Hello! I forgot to press record earlier, so I just did. These things happen. Yeah, he's generally known as the Purple Doctor, but yeah. he's the current one in the Doctor Who fan films. Yeah, but DW 2012. Up to seven episodes, from what he said. And I can't wait to see any. I can't wait to see more, and. I don't know what number you're on. Are you number two? Oh, you, in you, terms oh, of the fan film yeah, uh, So I'm the second one of the fan film, the yeah. The second one. So, I yeah, in terms of lead actors, but there are other Doctors prior before me and yeah. prior before Luke. Yeah. So there's, there's a bit of a timeline there. So yeah. there's a few others. I wonder if he's even here today. Is he here? Luke? Oh, no, no, no. He's back at home relaxing. Well, no, no yeah, I bet he would, because we would get exhausted at this Comic Con. Oh, yeah. How was Catherine? Oh yeah, I met Catherine Tate earlier. She's lovely. She's she was. I'm I'm glad I got a photo with her. And um, what was I going to say? Did you see her dog? I didn't see the dog, unfortunately. I missed out. It was dog. tiny. And she was. It was called Billy, I think. Billy. Oh, that's a lovely name for a dog. <laughs> yeah, it is because I, I I saw you in the I saw you in the queues as well. But I wanted to wait until after because we kept moving. Like yeah, we were there, yeah. and it kept moving like that. And yep, he's there. But I think I'll probably stop it now because, yeah, it was lovely to have a video with you. And this time, yep, I am still recording. Yeah. I've noticed when I go back through these things, I go completely off topic. I say something and then because, and then I move on to a new topic. And also, um, my mum was pointing this out after I finished filming. Well, that clip with him. I keep looking around and stuff, and it's because, it, well, it is because of my... Um, disorder thingy but the reason why I look around is because if I feel like I'm looking at the camera like this I'll feel like I'm just staring into people's souls so that's what I don't I, I it feels rude when I do that so that's why I usually look around and stuff and just looking straight forward like this would just be boring for me and probably for you guys but yeah I think that just pretty much I, I don't know I've been doing these videos for about a, a year and a half almost two years and if you guys have noticed me looking around um while I was doing these filming thingies um that would be why because I can't keep my legs still I can't keep my eyes still I try but yeah and I'm sure you noticed as you're watching this clip I am trying to stare at the camera as much as I can but not be creepy but anyways enough of this nonsense let's move on to the next thing it's a target
first time walking on the inside of a TARDIS, I had to have a bit of fun running around. Because I don't know if you guys have done that before, but that was the first time I've seen, seen like an inside TARDIS in... A TARDIS interior, in fact, in a Comic-Con before. And obviously I was wearing the 14th Doctor costume. I had to sort of imitate the Star Beast reveal of the new TARDIS. Then I find Tom Scar again, and then after that, that is when I show you the most exciting bit of this video for me. Well, for you guys as well, if you find it exciting a bit. Because I was, my heart was racing for this last bit. Not this Tom Scar bit I'm about to show you now. Enjoy it though. I am with Tom Scar Whoa. again! Hello, it's and me again. We're yeah, out here. Yeah, I want to say a big thank you to this man right here. He's given me... 13,000 views and you guys have watched it. Uh, I I've been, it. Every one of those views is me. I'm just me refreshing the page. <laughs> it, I've been doing this for nine months. Nine months. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's been a long project, but we've, we've, we've made it. Yeah, I was going to say that's almost close to nine months. Yeah, maths, I've but, got 13,000 um, different uh, IP addresses. So Yeah, something tells me I'm, I'm at 800 subs right now, but because of this video, I don't know if I'm going to get to 1,000 years later, but I have, a, I have a feeling. I hope you do. I do. I believe in you. Yeah, because... I've been watching your videos after your Tom Scar and Friends one. Right. Like one of my favourite videos was the burrito one. When you were that was that was there. gross. Actually, that was a gross video. The last one uh, was the toothpaste one. I thought it was marshmallow. It, it was it, I, I, I did initially. Um, it was not. No, it was toothpaste. It was, it was a toothpaste. dangerous amount of toothpaste. Apparently, if I swallowed that, I would have been very ill. Yeah, because. So what kind of stuff do you do on your channel? If someone's here just for me. I'm. I do a mix of everything. I do like gaming, unboxing, vlogs. It's like a mix of everything. Very but cool. At the moment, I'm currently in, in my college trying to become an actor. Okay. And With what video on your channel would you recommend someone who hasn't seen any of your other videos? Um, I don't know, but it, that's really up to you guys to decide. Now for the best bit, for the Catherine Tate stage. And unless you have Instagram and follow me, um, I don't think you'll guess what happened next. You might, you might. I don't know if I teased it on YouTube as a community post yet, but this was by far my most favourite part. I'll show you this clip and then I'll probably just end the video there. Oh my God, you'll have to go up the ramp. So we'll have to get, come a bit me, you for goodness sake. Come on, sir. Okay, so what we'll do then. Actually, you're all young with lovely knees. You could jump up there. <laughs> I don't know if the insurance covers it. Okay, there you go. Sorry, if I chased you. Oh, away. Absolutely fine. Are you sure? Yes. Absolutely fine. He said, raving mad. <laughs> no, I no. Go on, do that. No. Is it alright? It's absolutely fine. I'll cue them up on that side. Oh, alright, thank you. Right, right so could you all follow me? Before I say my question, I just yes. like my heart is beating right now. I've never been with an actor on stage this close. Oh. Um, thank you for calling me an actor. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Um, my question. I'm about to. Look, it's like. It's like the sound of music. <laughs> so long, farewell. Oh. Sorry, darling, what's your name? Zach. Zach, hello, Zach. Um, my question results... Zach, around... you've got a YouTube channel. I do. <laughs> Subscribe, <laughs> why are you <laughs> Subscribe, please. I did a little shout-out on your channel, didn't Yes, you did, and I appreciate oh. it. Oh, my God, you're probably going to get... My phone's about to probably go dinging in a second. <laughs> okay, what's your question? My question resolves around beat the meat. Beat the meat, yes. Did you like the idea of him being a little devil in the script, or would you prefer if he was one of the sweetest creatures in the galaxy? Well, I'm going to say it's not a he. They are a, a the. A the. A the, the meat. <laughs> That's all right. Um, oh, I, well, I think it's always great that you... you Cut, you know, you cut the expectation of this being a lovely little furry cutie yeah, pie nah. who's actually, yeah, a real beast. Yeah, cool. So I loved that. Yeah, so you like the idea of him being a little devil at the end? I do quite like it. It's always, listen, the, 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 the mean ones are always the best ones. Well, yeah, it's always the ones you never expect. Okay, yes. Hold on a minute, I just want to check. There seems to be, what's going on? Is it all right? Have I created mayhem? <laughs> Have I created mayhem? I didn't mean to create mayhem. Okay, it's fights breaking out and everything. <laughs> oh my god, people drinking. It's terrible. Can I also have yes. one tiny more question? Yes. I'm currently studying performing arts in my college because I want to be an actor like you. Yes. 
Do you have any acting advice? Here's my acting advice, don't be late. I won't. <laughs> it's, it's the only acting advice I can give you. I can't really, I don't know about acting. You know, obviously everyone's talent is different, but I can tell you practically, be on time. Um, she says turning up late for a line this well, morning. I'm, but, yeah, I'm in a class of 12 and I think I'm one of three people that are always on time. Or well, that's a good thing, because that's going to stand you in good stead, whatever you do. I know. Respect people's time. Right. I just want to Thank, thank you, you again. Zach. You're very welcome, darling. I'll pass it on. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Hello, do you know what we should do? Look, people that are waiting, come and sit on the couch. I think now it's only fair to play the outro and ha include all the pictures I've had taken at the Comic Con to re really, really send it off on a really good note. Because either way, it's still ending off on a really good note anyway. I had a lot of fun today. <laughs>